One way your immune system recognizes cells that are gone awry is that maybe those cells express something a little different. And your body makes antibodies, which are the flag that stick on an infected cell. And then different parts of your immune system see the flag and try to kill that cell. We also know that cancer cells by themselves express things that are different than normal cells in your body. So they should already have flags all over them that the immune system should see. But what happens is they don't wave the flag the right way. The tumor cells have figured out how to be different but hide their flags from the immune system. And so one way to get around that is take those cells that are supposed to be the immune cells that see the flags and equip them where they can see what the, uh, the cancer cell isn't showing us and then attach to that right on the surface of the cancer cell and do their job to kill the cancer cell. Is it just the T cells alone for a cancer like neuroblastoma or are we going to need to think about this um, in a different way even for using these immune cells? So for instance, you know, neuroblastoma grows as a lump and it makes its own environment. So if you have one single cancer cell floating around, maybe the T cell can see it and get rid of it. But if you put them all in a neighborhood and then they build a wall around the neighborhood, maybe the T cell can't get in. So now we need to figure out how can we better equip the immune system? What other ways besides just putting this flag on the cancer cells can we teach the whole immune system to attack the neuroblastoma?